What's up, you guys? Hey, I uh, just got done with a little bit of an afternoon workout here in my uh, garage slash gym, and uh, it's cold. <laughs> it's cold out. It's snowing. It's the middle of May, and it's snowing, but uh, here we are, nonetheless, getting it done, and as I was training today, I was thinking about something, uh, a trap that I've fallen prey to in the past, and that trap is believing that I want to make uh, the biggest difference, that I want to change the world, that I want to reach as many people as possible, that I want to make my, my dent in the universe. And, you know, I think it's noble. I think anybody who thinks like this probably has noble intentions and desires, but uh, it's wasted effort. It's wasted because you're so focused on things that are largely outside of your control. You can't control and dictate what other people do. Largely, you can't dictate the tone of external circumstances. But you can focus on yourself. You can change yourself. Those little things that you do on a daily basis start to add up and ironically enough, when you begin to focus more on yourself and how you can make the largest impact on who you are personally, the greater impact that you will inevitably have in your family, your business, your community, your neighborhood, and maybe even the world. Uh, but too often we focus on controlling other people and trying to strong arm and force things that don't fit and don't work. I know I've, like I said, fallen prey to it quite often and it's very frustrating because very rarely do you see the uh, results that you'd like to see. So I would encourage you, as I have been over the past five years pretty heavily now, to turn that attention inward. And at times it's difficult to do because we think we're being selfish and maybe to a degree we are, but if you wanna have that level of influence with other people, uh, you're gonna have to find a way to focus on yourself. So train, move your body, eat good food, get the sleep you need, read good books, listen to good podcasts, surround yourself with motivated, talented, smart people who are going to edify you, uplift you, inspire you, but ultimately pay more attention on yourself and how you can change you as an individual rather than how you can change the circumstances around you and the people that are in your life. And like I said, as you do that, you'll begin to have more influence, not control, not tyranny or dictatorship over other people and circumstances, but influence over those circumstances and they'll start to play out the way that you have a desire to play them out. So focus on yourself. It's hard when you're a man, a dad, a husband, a father, a business owner, especially in interesting times to say the least like we are now because we do have outside obligations and responsibilities. But I'm telling you, if you can't carve out time for yourself and figure out a way to, to take care of your mind and your body and your soul and your mental well-being and your physical capabilities, then man, you're never gonna make the difference that you want. So uh, I give you permission, as if you need it, to focus on yourself, to invest in yourself, to love yourself enough to take care of yourself. And I think you'll notice that when you do that, you'll inevitably produce the results that you want for you uh, and the people that you love and care about. So take some time this weekend, focus on you. Focus on what you can do, how you can improve, and how you can be the man that you want to be and watch uh, your external circumstances change because you're willing to invest in yourself. Get after it, gents.